Hi guys, I think you know I'm a real fan of the uh, Freewing Avanti uh, and of course Avanti again, but maybe you noticed that this is a yellow Avanti and in the last video we had red Avanti. So I have to tell you what happened. Uh, I was thinking to push it hard. I was thinking to, to try how fast the Avanti can go. And unfortunately the red Avanti ended up crashing in the top of those trees on the on, on the beginning of the runway uh, with speeds clocking on my GPS of 290 kilometers per hour. So nothing left from Avanti. The Avanti red one is dead. Very quickly I bought the, the new one, the yellow one. I put some color on the wings. This is Aura Cover, Aura Stick from Aura Cover. Uh, flew orange to see something. And the quest for making Avanti flying really fast was on. But to my surprise, the more power I've put to Avanti, it didn't want to go faster, you know? Like I was reaching almost 300 kilometers per hour and that was it. I ended up putting into it almost six kilowatts of power and still it didn't want to fly fast. So I said, okay, this is not the way. The power is not the way. And I modified it hardly, uh, not hardly, but extensively. I've covered all the, 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 the gaps on the, on the wings with the, with the special tape, with balsa. I made the trailing edge of the all control surface is very sharp with balsa here also and on the, on the horizontal stabilizer also. I made every edge also here on the tail very smooth and sharp, so there are no flat surfaces because they create a lot of drag. And when I did this, of course covering with the, with the Aura cover, when I did this, the Avanti accelerated without increasing the power, accelerated by 60 kilometers per hour. That's a lot. So this is the way to go with Avanti. Of course, it's a little bit of work, but I have to warn you guys. Don't try to push Avanti with the very strong setups or even with the turbine engines to go very fast because Avanti is not designed, the freewing Avanti is not designed to go fast because when I was doing these changes, I noticed that all the plastic fittings in the wings, in the stubs, everywhere, they came loose and I almost lost the new one again due to explosion in the air because uh, this jet is just not designed for this kind of drag and this kind of power because with around five kilowatts we have around five kilograms of thrust and uh, this is a constant pressure on the tip of the wings and of course the the fittings are just glued into the phone so it's not really recommended and what i did also interesting in the front i couldn't get rid of the 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 flapping cover of the front front uh, wheel so what I did, I glued it together and I've just cut the, the slot for the wheel. So the wheel is sliding out and in and it's fixed permanently. But I use it not only to remove and hide the wheel, but also as the ventilation intake for cooling the batteries. So this is really cool. I have to print bigger wheels to, to be really flush with the bottom of the plane. And also I was thinking to hide the, mm, the horns for the control surfaces, but this is in the future. Still, it's a lot of work. So now, the Avanti will not fly today on five and a half or six kilowatts, but it, fly, it will fly on four and a half kilowatts. It will be still fast. It will still go way over 300, but uh, I think uh, it's not safe to go, uh, to try to reach 400 because my dream was, my goal was to, to break 400 kilometers per hour barrier, but not with the Avanti. Avanti is just not strong enough. It will lose integrity with 400 kilometers per hour. Can you believe what will happen? It's just nightmare. So today, a very quick flight on uh, around four kilowatts. I have a very strong setup inside, which is delivering almost six kilowatts, but I had to cut it down with motor timing on the ESC. So I set the ESC to the lowest uh, timing. This way, it's not reaching the full potential. It's reaching uh, 4.2 kilowatts at takeoff, maybe 4.3. Uh, 
but still it's enough, still it will be very fast. I think this is one of the fastest Avantis on the planet right now. So let's have fun and let's fly. Watts, fast and flat. Here are 3,966 watts, 343 watts. Okay, around 4 kilowatts of takeoff, to trim it a little bit. Low rates. Because I just finished covering the Horizontal stabilizers. Trim center. Okay. Middle rates. Let's go. go very fast from right to left. Check the top speed. 294 kilometers per hour. 294. Now we need faster. We go up again. We have to land. Okay, let's cool the motor for a little bit. 14.3 amps, 19.4 amps, 514 watts. Let's make two loops around the airfield for cooling. Check the top speed in the meantime. 294 467 milliamp hours. Okay, Here. landing. High rates. Flaps full, 77 kilometers per hour. 63 kilometers per hour. 62 kilometers per hour. 65 kilometers per hour. Amps. 
I was too radical. <laughs> With this takeoff, I wanted to show you how trim center how fast it goes up. With the takeoff, I was going a little bit too slow. Low rates. Try the top speed. 301 kilometers per hour. 301. No. Going up. 133 kilometers per hour. kilometers per hour. 193 kilometers per hour. Let's take the power. 2,926 watts. 17.2 volts. 2.2 We burned something. I have to land. High rates. Gear up. Okay, no power. Gear down. Flaps full. Flaps 103 full. kilometers per hour. 67 kilometers per hour. 60 kilometers per hour. 48 kilometers yes. per hour. Fast and flat. Emergency landing. Middle rate. I think we burned something, either the ESC or the motor, because we were pushing constantly more than 3 kilowatts, 140 amps. I think a takeoff. Let's disconnect the batteries first. <clears throat> I luckily have external BEC. <laughs> so, flight data quickly. <clears throat> Quickly flight data, you know, this This was an emergency landing because mid-flight uh, the motor stopped. So I think the ESC, not the motor. And we have at stake of 158 amps. This is Leon batteries. And uh, I will not tell you which Leon batteries because this will be the next video, but these batteries will change the world. So. 158 amps, 4.2 kilowatts at takeoff. The flight was four and a half minutes, but we would fly seven, eight minutes full throttle almost all the time. Uh, top speed, 301 kilometers per hour, uh, diving from 300 meters. This is my standard dive from 300 meters to use inertia and gravity to accelerate. So very nice. Uh, and we used only 4,000, so we used half of the capacity with four and a half minutes flight. This is exciting. It's really fun, you know, I modified this jet, but if you want to go fast, really, really fast, then you have to invest in, uh, in fiberglass jet because foamy will explode over 300 kilometers per hour. I can tell you, I clocked a few days ago on this one, 361 with a little bit more power with five and a half kilowatts. But as I told you in the beginning, the jet almost exploded. So this, we were flying now around four kilowatts with 300 kilometers per hour, which is great. If you want to go faster, go for fiberglass jet. But uh, I think Avanti is designed for around two kilowatts or uh, two and a half maximum. But definitely try to uh, fill the gaps, to cover the gaps on the wings and every, everywhere you can, because this will improve the flight characteristic of this jet a lot. So this is it for this video, but stay tuned for the next video. 
because it's gonna be a revolutionary video. We will talk about the batteries, which I just got, I just tested, and this is something else. It's unbelievable. Okay, thank you so much. I hope to see you next time.